AMD fans, another day in your favor. I'm Elric here on Tech of Tomorrow. We bring you all the tech all the time. Now, what's up? Well, you guys all know it was rumored that the Richland APUs would all come out. And well, guess what? They have come out. In fact, they even got leaked a day early over on Newegg, where we actually happened to purchase one. Now, there are six SKUs coming right off the bat. That's right. And the highest price one of all is only $149, which is the A10-6800K, which I actually purchased. But there's actually five more SKUs that actually got released. So let's first off, let's talk about those SKUs. Starting off the six SKUs is the A4-4000, which has one module and two cores. It has a CPU base frequency of 3.0, a maximum turbo frequency of 3.2, a TDP of 65 watts, and the graphics chip on this is still yet to be announced, which is kind of funny because it has the GPU core set at 128, and it has the GPU clock set at 724 megahertz. It also has one megahertz of level two cache. Now the top of the line model, which we'll be looking at an unboxing today, is the A106800K. It has two modules, four cores, a CPU base frequency of 4.1, a maximum turbo frequency of 4.4, has a TDP of 100 watts, and the graphics processor on board, this is the HD8670D, which features 384 GPU cores and has a GPU clock speed of 844 megahertz. It also features two by two megabytes of level two cache and features a maximum DDR3 clock of 2133 megahertz. The street price of this is up between $150 and $142. We purchased ours at Newegg for $149. So with that said, folks, let's take a close-up look of the new A106800K. All right, folks, so here you guys have the box. Now, one thing you guys are going to trip out is the top. Now, check it out. On top, it says A106800K. Now, when I first went and got this thing from Will Call, I was like, hey, what's going on here? Have I picked up some new crazy video card? Because uh, one of the zeros is uh, just a miss in there. As you guys can see right here, it says 4.1 gigahertz base clock, 4.4 gigahertz max turbo frequency. So I'll spin it around, not much of the box, it just says what it supports. It also says it supports iFinity. So that means you can use three monitors right off the video support out of this APU. Nothing on the back worth talking about. What served is this AMD A series APU, which is their new high end. Flip it around one more time. It just gives you some graphics options. It says the AM A10 works best with an HD 6670. The AM8 works good with that. And then when you get down to the lower end A8s, it supports lower end video cards like the HD 6450. So last but not least, back to the front and let's begin the unboxing. I don't have a knife today, folks. I have to cheese it up and just go ahead and use a little tiny little uh, thing here, you know? But scissors work, right? What the hell? So we'll go ahead and pop the cap here. You guys see inside the box go ahead and remove this out here ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. Ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom, ba doom ba doom ba doom so we got three pieces here folks all right we have got the cooling fan la doo da la doo da nice plain one here you know with uh, not even a name or anything like just a little number hmm getting cheesy yeah they're uh, amd just your basic little clip and mount one that's what you get and so you also get their little AMD advanced micro devices processor little user's guide thingy. Just shows you how to insert it into the socket AM2. Bop that off. And last but not least, bum bum bum. Now AMD still uses pins, unlike Intel. Intel has the pins on their board and not on their processor. We'll flip it around. Let's see, I guess right here you guys can see the AMD A-Series Black Edition, which means it's going to be unlocked and ready to overclock. We'll have to see how that works out. Now, go ahead, last but not least, and I will go ahead and try to take the plastic packaging off here so we can get the camera in to get you guys a nice little close-up of the CPU. So here's the CPU. Let's see if we can get you the shot. 
All right, folks, so there you guys have it up close and personal with the new A10 6800K APU from the folks at AMD. We also showed you the five other SKUs that are being released for the desktop market. So we hope you guys like this. Like I said before, we are going to be full on testing this against the competition from its own realm, plus the Haswell, plus Ivy Bridge CPUs to see how the video tests against everything else. We all know that probably Intel, as far as its raw CPU performance, is going to be more powerful but it's been noted that unless you're using more than two cards these APUs will do very very well even for upscaling and putting your own video card in so with that said folks hope you guys like the video if so hit that like button make me know that I'm appreciated if you guys aren't sub please do so because we got lots more videos coming up here on tech of tomorrow